Let the games begin. Hey there, YouTube. What? Cho. We. And welcome back to the Hermit Gamers playthrough of X Men Legends Two. In our last episode, we made. Uh, well, we we got halfway through opening the Great Seal in order to find that little coward Apocalypse is hiding from us, hiding behind his uh, his little impenetrable doorway. Why Juggernaut can't just you know smash through it? I don't know. But that doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to be switching up this team very slightly. Not a big change. We're just going to grab Sunfire. Sunfire. Because I'm really hoping we get to the penultimate boss in this episode. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this will be our second last episode. And uh, we get a special character dialogue between Sunfire and that uh, and said boss. Uh, obviously, we need to do a little bit of leveling up. Let's move out, team. Um... And again, I'm not really sure this team is equipped to be doing the danger mission that we have left. So, ah, what can I do for you? Let me just uh, see if I can get any extra skill points or maybe an extra level or something for Sunfire because he is lagging. This guy doesn't look like yeah, he's not going to have anything worth buying. All right, what do we got here? You won't find better prices anywhere else. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, it's tempting. The thing is, you only ever get, like, three level advances. Yeah, let's do it. He he is lagging a lot. And, like, realistically, <clears throat> you know, if I need levels, like, it, you know, I can always jump into the danger room and level. Especially with a character like Sunfire. He levels... He can uh, power level very quickly. I probably should have checked his experience, because he could have been right on the cusp of a level there. But anyway, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of uh, skill points to distribute here. And Sunfire, super easy character to build, uh, the way I'm doing him at least. Literally just body and focus. He doesn't need anything else, just are oh, your brother and are oh, your focus. So let's get that. Let's get Inferno. And ooh, that kind of sucks. I was really hoping we'd be able to get an extra point in uh, Fire Mastery. That's a bit rough. But now that Rising Sun is maxed, uh, we should uh, we should be able to start getting Fire Master. And like I said, this is not a very strong Sunfire build. Inferno is not a good skill. And generally speaking, if you want to get Inferno, just put one point in it. Don't don't put more than one point. But I wanted to make him you know really different to Pyro. And look, when you've got Ignite maxed out and you can double your damage with Rising Sun you're not going to have any problem. He's still going to be strong. You're not going to be like, you know, world breaking strong, but you know, it's not like you're going to be one of the, like a liability for your team or anything. So let's just, uh, throw some uh, extra points into Aurora's Aria butter. And what do we got here in terms of skills? Ooh, more lightning mastery is definitely tempting. Ooh, that said, getting that up to four chains is also kind of tempting. And increasing static charge is always tempting as well. Damn. You know, we'll get that up to four chains. Four chains is, uh, is a good place to sort of just have that. So we'll have that at four chains. Uh, and from now on, she'll probably start working on uh, static charge and, you know, just trying to get Lightning Mastery sorted. And Storm is one of the few characters who will actually max Mutant Master because Chain Lightning is so just ridiculously EP hungry that it's necessary. And she doesn't really need it. Um, you know, almost any situation, Whirlwind is the better skill for taking out, you know, just generic scrubs. But against bosses, Chain Lightning, especially when coupled with Static Charge, it can be extremely powerful. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't be worrying about getting extra chains because, I mean, that's really just increasing the uh, EP cost of the skill. And uh, yeah, maybe just get this up to 21 seconds. I mean, the, the damage bonus is not that big a deal. I mean, obviously it does add up, and by the time you have it maxed, it, it's pretty significant. But yeah. all right, we'll, yeah, we'll go with Lightning Mastery. We'll go with Lightning. Yeah, I'll do the exact opposite of what I said I was going to do. And Colossus, don't got no skill points. Bishop, just got the one. And let me see, what's he going to want? Uh, no sapping strike. Now, yeah, I could put an extra point in Bioblast, but I actually think what we're going to start doing is we're going to start getting Power Trip. It's one of those skills where it's like you, you don't seem to get many gains. Like the difference between having max Power Trip and no Power Trip is a huge power spike, but you know the difference between each individual point 
is not hugely noticeable. I mean, it, 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 it's something. I mean, it's there. You do notice it, but it, it's just not that potent. Anyway, let's uh, we'll chat with Forge because we haven't done that yet, and then we'll uh, we'll get to that extraction point and head back into the next uh, area that we need to clear out. Hi, what can I do for you? One theory is he moves his spirit to a younger body every few decades, and when he wears out that body, he moves on to the next. That's a possibility too, or he could just have a very, very long lifespan. You know, he always brags about being immortal, doesn't he? Uh, all this stuff about alien technology, man, is it? It's the weakest aspect of Apocalypse's character. Apparently, when he was first born, Apocalypse was sought after by a pharaoh. And that pharaoh was really a visitor from another world. I imagine Apocalypse took it from him. Anytime, my friend. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't understand it. Like, I could see Apocalypse. Like, I've never been a big fan of Apocalypse as a villain. And it's strange because I really love Age of Apocalypse. But he does work okay in that setting where he's sort of already ruling the world and... Everything else about Age of Apocalypse is so perfect that, you know, it doesn't need an enormously strong villain to be a, uh... Yeah, okay. alright. Yeah, it, it doesn't need an enormously strong villain in order to be a successful, uh, story. Now, yeah, I think we've got to find the exit on this side now. We've already been through the Temple of Sekhmet. Look at that Egyptian music. And I could have brought Nightcrawler instead of Colossus. It might have been wise. I would have kept our team bonus. And it would have given us a lot more mobility. That said, Colossus does give us a little bit of... Um, Synergy. In that he at least has raw, which is something. It's not a huge boost, but, you know, I'd rather have raw than nothing. That said, I do think Nightcrawler is... Yeah, his presence alone is potentially uh, more of a bonus. Stickhead. Boss that combo shield up. So the main reason why this version of Sunfire is just not that strong is he doesn't have the uh, team support. At higher level, of course, he will eventually get Flaming Fury and then he will be much stronger because he'll be bringing the, uh, the team support that he currently lacks. But yeah, at the moment, that's mainly what makes him feel a bit lackluster. Blow up these freaking columns. Yeah, I heard a piece of equipment drop. And yeah, that homing beacon there, it's a bit of a trap. So we're just going to go around the outside. Getting all the loot we can first. And I need to feel like I need to just adjust the volume on my headphones a little bit. Yeah, it shouldn't impact what you hear. It's just what I hear. Boom. Bad luck with the loot here. A few tech bits and not much else. So you can see there's a danger in disc there. But you can't. We can't get to it. There is a way though. It's quite simple, really. But you'll see. As you can see, there's a door there, but we can't get into it. However, if we pick up this uh, homing beacon, it's a trap. Kaboom. Kurikika! So, what do we got there? Sketchbook? I'll take it. And. Yeah, there is a way out of here. That's it. And this is where we get that <coughs> danger room disc. Which, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's our last one. Now, I think, uh, 
you may be able to manipulate that with Jean's telekinesis or Magneto's Schnemuigen, but I'm not 100%. Got not sure who I should be using. Oh! Oh, of course you. Damn, I'm out of silence. And the damage. Considering, again, that's a level 1 skill. And this guy's just breaking faces with it. Car? Nope. Sapping strike for you, son. Yes. Pop. <laughs> oh, Karikika! The fire rises! Let's get mean. That really wasn't worth it. I gotta love that double damage. Ah, yes. So this is how we uh, continue on. We've got to destroy the various statues. Yes. Yeah, we've actually got to destroy yeah. them in order, so. I will comply. Affirmative. Come here, boy. Hey, camera. I want to actually be able to see this. Oh. Strange, it should have been Mikhail second. He was the the second horseman, wasn't he? Give me money, give me item. Man, I am so ready to start doing like some Baldur's Gate, Planescape Torment playthroughs. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. And I'm happy to do a nightmare playthrough when this one's over. Uh, you know, after a bit of a break, obviously. Not immediately. But, yeah, I'm ready. If you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for... Uh, Something else. Man, when you don't have the double damage, you really feel it. The fire rises! Thankfully, as a buff. Did he just say you people are fools? Or did he say something about bush? I will pee in a bush. Look at that, just... Alright, what are you doing? Stop. Out my face. Yeah, I gotta remember, if I just want cheap DPS for uh, Sunfire, I can always use his Flamethrower. Which is actually surprisingly devastating when you have uh, Rising Sun on. Did he just kill these guys through the walls? Sunfire Soul, you were a worthy opponent. Your ass is dead. Now this is where it can be helpful to have a freaking teleporter because... Yeah, there are these blocks. Now you can move them if you come from the other side. But it makes navigating around this room a bit tricky without a teleporter. That's a big mob. You know what? Uh, yes. Yeah, let's... uh. Hold okay. on. Bishop. Alright. Put you back into it. With no survivors! Oh. 
I require more energy for that. There. And yeah, I'm just trying to clear this area out. Ooh, pot of destiny in the face. Thank you for stunning that guy. Man, look at the damage Colossus dishes out when he's got uh, Bishop's buff on. He just cleans house. I mean, that's obviously true of any melee character. Ah. Affirmative. Some fire. Use your speed. I was talking about something. That's ah, right, yeah, Baldur's Gate, Planescape Torment. Like I said, I'm ready, man, I'm ready. Get out of my way. Oh, can we not... Son of a bitch. Alright. How do I get out of here? Alright. I see the way. To be honest, I could have just blink portaled. And, uh... <clears throat> Man, that guy was tough. He didn't want to die. I mean, does anyone want to die? But he didn't want to die. So yeah, let's clear out this area. Ah, you missed. Well. He did not fight well. You're being overly generous in your praise, Colossus. Seriously. Do you want to give me items? Yeah, definitely worth coming down here for that tech station. No more. Give me money. Give me item. And are you barter? Just trying to think who here needs are you barter? And I guess this guy is our tank. So. Are you all right? You're not still alive. Nice drop. All right. That's this area cleared out. Let's go home. Smash these columns, just for the fun of it. When you have uh, this guy at really high level, you can literally use Siberian Express to like move at really high speed. I mean, if you're willing to eat a lot of EP potions, you can kind of do it at this point. As you wish. But yeah, by the time you get through on like a nightmare playthrough, it's definitely an option. And same thing for uh, Juggernaut with his Bull Rush, which is, you know, just a clone of the same ability. So yeah, now we gotta place this crystal here. And the doors, so we'll open. Now, I don't think we actually get another uh, mission, uh, another mission briefing, but we're going to pop through into the Halls of the Dead. There is a uh, danger room disc here we want, and we'll just, uh... oh crap, I destroyed that door, it was not what I wanted. Alright, and yeah, I can blink portal here, so I'll just see, as you can see the... Uh, portal is open and that is where we will rescue Iron Man so yeah but we'll, we'll see if there's uh if there's another briefing I don't think there is which mission briefing would you like no all right so now we literally just uh, battling the penultimate boss and then we have to do a bunch of danger in missions we won't we probably won't have time to battle you know, to do all of that and battle apocalypse in this particular episode but uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe it'll run a bit long and, uh, you know, because this boss takes a long time to kill. He's just a tough son bitch. Not so much dangerous, but tough. And we do get a VA dialogue between him and Sunfire, so that's why I brought my brought the, uh, the guy. So let's get in there and let's get that. See, now I can mute my mic very easily. Who are you? To awaken the living monolith, I will utterly annihilate you! 
So you see what I mean? I, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I hope you did. That I can just cut my mic off and, uh, you know, let them speak. And, you know, it, it allows the sound to come through much more clearly to you. My name is Sunfire. I do not wish to fight you. Ah, good old Sunfire. True martial artist. Doesn't seek confrontation. Sunfire. You are so tiny. You will not last long against a creature such as me. Flee now, while there is still breath in your body. Boy, he may be small, but he's powering. I cannot do that, living monolith. You must let me pass. Why would you risk certain death, little one? It makes no sense. We'll show you who's uh, risking certain deaths, because it ain't us. Apocalypse is threatening to start a war with the aid of a device powered by four mutants. I am honor bound to stop him before he is able to achieve his goal. It is good to meet a warrior who regards honor so highly. But I too am honor bound to guard this portal. None shall pass through. None shall pass. <laughs> Very well then, living monolith. Let the battle begin. Yeah, let us battle. Now, I'm going to be controlling Sunfire, obviously, because he was talking trash about my boy, but this is not really a boss killing build for Sunfire, and add to that, living monolith is pretty resistant to the kind of damage that Sunfire puts out. So this is going to take some time, but we will have storm static fields helping us, and uh, we will be dishing double damage, so you know, that's something. Let's just uh, make sure Storm's actually going to use those static fields when we call on her. There we go. And you... Yeah, we probably don't... Uh, ah, whatever. May as well have a roll. Why are you aggressive, son? And yeah, Energy Fury. I guess we do want a bit of melee boost for the rest of our characters. And I mean, I could do this so quickly with Colossus. Just hit Energy Fury, give Colossus double damage, and then throw some demolitions out. And just wipe this guy out so fast. But yeah, we want to do this with Sunfire. And there is a bit of a trick to this boss fight, so it does help to have a flyer. As you can see, at the moment, he is invincible. So we have to get up on these. Yeah. And now he's vulnerable. The fire rises! Hey, Storm. Static field is full. We're definitely uh, melting him down pretty fast. Those static fields are really boosting our damage. Yeah, we'll fix that son. Damn straight the battle is ours. So that wasn't too hard, actually, with uh, Storm's static shield, uh, static fields. We were able to chip that guy down really fast, so that wasn't too tricky. Normally, uh, you know, without Storm there, that would have taken a long time. Yeah, let's just uh, get all our sweet, juicy loot. These uh, obelisks are not made of the hardest stone. I find them offensive. Whatever I find offensive must always be destroyed. And as a a skill for just destroying environmentals, burn is so freaking good. Unfortunately, because it's not at a low level, it is actually like eating up my EP. Da. Da. As you wish. Hey, out of my way, shitty beetle. Where is my next opponent? Attack my target! Okay. And you can hear that tech station. You are not doing so well. 
just save myself a lot of EP if I were destroying this stuff with uh, Colossus. Dead. Give me money, give me item. Hey! Yeah, that's more like it. Damn straight. So, yeah, the only reason to come in here is for that data disc. And obviously, the uh, extra loot. Is this made of the hardest stone? Nope. Yes. Yeah, get us out of here, some player. Now we're pretty much at Colossus, uh, Colossus, I always mix up their names, Colossus and Apocalypse. But yeah, we're basically at Apocalypse. Let's get a little bit more looting, a few more shitty beetles to kill. And to get that tech station, you've got to hit that gleaming jewel. It'll open up the floor. As you can see, it's not much of a puzzle. But if you were having trouble, then that's how it's done. And I'm actually going to leave that because we're going to be bringing the Brotherhood for our final battle and Wanda can actually benefit from that speed boost more than anyone on this team. So just a bunch more looting in this room. Then we're going to go back, we're going to do some danger room missions, we'll switch up our team. Yeah, yeah I was hoping we might have found some half decent equipment but no at least we're getting a uh, enormous amount of tech bits that said as i said because of the uh whole teleport chamber exploit tech bits are kind of irrelevant at this point in the game i could have as many tech bits as i wanted it's just a question of patience time and i think that should be the last sketchbook so yeah through there is uh the big blue bastard himself, but we're not going to go through there just yet. We've got other stuff to do, such as rescuing Iron Man <clears throat> and completing various danger room missions. And I suppose I could take this team in, but uh, yeah, I really wanted to finish up with the Brotherhood. But all right, let's just uh... all right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the Brotherhood. I'm gonna switch over to the Brotherhood. The, uh, the group we started with the group we're going to finish with. That said, uh, if you do want to see me defeat um, Apocalypse, not Colossus, if you do want to see, de see me defeat Apocalypse with a particular team, do let me know. Obviously, I can just save at this point and uh, reload and obviously do it with another team. But it's not a great challenge. And to be honest, pretty much any team, any combination of characters is not going to have a problem fighting him as long as you've built them well and you have reasonable gear. But I'm going to shut up now. <clears throat> while I uh, switch these guys around because I'm going to have to mess around with equipment a little bit and probably do some leveling up. Brotherhood of Evil. Yeah, let's stop them. All right. <clears throat> now I just need to put some equipment onto uh, <clears throat> Toad and uh, the rest of our characters. That said, we do have a lot of crap that I need to sell, so... Let's just get rid of that stuff. What? No, thank you. What do you want? Oh, nice! What a dick. Sorry, no credit. All right. Just sorting out equipment now. I'll probably fade to black while I do that with the stash. All right. Now, <clears throat> uh, obviously, these guys are going to need some level ups. And uh, you know their builds, so there's nothing fancy about that. So we're just going to, you know, churn through that and do it as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, I don't have the right equipment to use Toad's Xenomorph Acid, which can be hilarious against some of these higher-end danger room bosses. For now, unfortunately, we are kind of uh, running out of time. We may just have to rescue... Iron Man. As you can see, there's no way in there, so we gotta go around and we gotta wiggy some schniggies. 
Also, uh, yeah, where's that EP leech lady? Gimme. Yeah, she's doing pretty commendable damage. Someone's resurrecting these dickheads. If you insist. Just blow up. Now, did we actually solve the little puzzle section here? Ah, there we go. We gotta use that loose stone. So it's a different thing we got to do on each one to light each of the braziers. And uh, you know what? I think I actually forgot to go through the uh, portal in the third act. So we're probably missing a piece of Iron Man armor, as irritating as that is. Just kill that fool. this one. Ah yes, you have to break the column. That one gave me a lot of trouble the first time I did this. I, I assumed you had to do something with that jewel, and I thought maybe the uh, the map had bugged out or something. Okay, don't have enough energy. <laughs> be like throwing the pots across. Yes. You know what, let's um go <laughs> guy. If you insist. Nope. Man, that guy's tough. Not that tough though. And the fire rises. Should reveal the Stark star. But as I said, I'm I, I've got I've got this really shitty feeling that I neglected to get a piece of uh, armor. So we'll know that when we talk to him. That'll be a good place to finish this episode on. Getting that armor for him. I, I think he'd probably rather talk to uh, Wanda. So let's do that. Glad you could make the party. I was beginning to get lonely. It feels like it's been years since Apocalypse put me here. Let's just say a trap was set up using my only real weakness. Yeah, women or booze? Because they're both your weaknesses, mate. Oh yeah. And you know what? She was almost worth getting caught for. He's probably just talking about like some like single malt whiskey. Sorry, I can't leave yeah, until see? you locate all the pieces of my Alas. armor. Alas, I want to find them. I'll stay right here. All right, let's do this, and that'll be the finish of this episode. Next episode, we'll be going through uh, finishing up all the danger missions, including the legend grade danger missions, which are quite a challenge at this level. But I have some tricks for defeating them, and. Uh, it should make for some fun. Now this area we really just want to absolutely plow through. So we're gonna get our buffs on. Oh, that's that was the wrong button. Alright. No worries. All right. Buffs. And there we go. Right, no survivors! Take us home. Uh, why are these guys not being killed? There we go. Did Wanda not give us EP Leech? I feel like we don't have EP Leech.
Man, this guy's surprisingly tough. Goodbye. Surround him. No. Deny. Man, I love with path destruction. Like you literally just have to touch environmentals and they get destroyed. There we go. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, normally, with Juggernaut's natural EP leech, combined with Wanda's EP leech, and the ridiculous damage he does with Path of Destruction, he should be, like, pretty much Perpetual Motion Machine with EP. So something was going messed up there. Maybe these guys were had some physical immunities or something. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see if we any, uh loot here no so let's go free iron man and um, that'll make for a nice sort of bookend to this episode not the most elegant end i should have obviously done that before leaving act uh, four and this episode has run long and far too long for me to even think about going and taking on apocalypse particularly because, you know, you have to do all the danger missions and that takes some time. Right. So the next episode is probably not going to be particularly long. Yes. You have my armor. There we go. This is just what I needed. So yeah! this is how you free Tony Stark. Now Obviously. Let's get out of here. I'm dying to pay back Apocalypse for keeping me prisoner. You guys have seen me getting all of the, uh, you know, the various homing beacons and pieces of armor. And that's the uh, the final piece of the puzzle. But yeah, for now, I think we, uh, we're we going to have to end this here. As I said, this episode has run a little bit long. I mean, obviously, it's going to be edited down a little bit, but yeah. Next episode, we're going to be finishing with the Brotherhood, the very people we started with. And uh, yeah, it's really just going to be danger emissions going through the the last danger emissions and especially the legend grade danger emissions we will have to play a little bit of musical mutants during the whole danger emission thing because you know we we need some characters for some missions certain characters for other missions and also just because um you know i feel like particularly with the legend grade danger emissions how can we not have colossus taking on sugar man like you know what i'm saying it, how can we not have like wolverine taking on lady deathstrike you know it, it's just the way it has to be. You know, it's thematic. Anyway, until then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And I uh, hope you've been enjoying this. And I hope the, uh, you know, the microphone is working out and that uh, you guys have good audio quality and all that. But anyway, catch you on the flip side. Wa, cho, wait.